what's up, what's up? So I had to bring my sunglasses today because I know you're going to be looking so bright, looking so good after this workout that I just had to be prepared for it once we're done. So I'm going to set these off to the side here. So you better make sure you got some sunglasses around. You may not be able to handle yourself in the mirror once you're done with this workout. So today, make sure you've got a set of dumbbells. I've got a couple different sets of dumbbells, some heavier, some lighter. We are going to hit full body work again. Okay. You've got a list of old school lifting exercises that are really going to focus on toning. Now, instead of doing a high rep count or anything like that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to focus it on time. So I'm going to start the timer. We're going to spend 60 seconds on each exercise. I'm going to try to keep the rest to about 15 seconds or less in between. All right, we'll see if that plays out or not, but we're going to keep it to a minimum. I will say that, but some stuff I'll be explaining. So I'm going to start the time, and we're going to start this workout, all right? Ready to rock and roll? Grab your dumbbells, we're gonna start with a chest press. So for this one, you're gonna be on your back. All right, 60 seconds, we're gonna start now. Let's do this. So bring the weight down, back up. Now, you can do this on a bench, which is common, all right? But more than likely, you're at home doing it with me right now. So bring the weights all the way up, touch them together, come down until your elbows touch the ground. There you go, keep pressing, let's keep that speed. Good, 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 good. And so for the next exercise, we're gonna be in this same position. So stay right where you're at once we're done here. Good, keep pushing the weight up, come on, let's do this. There we go, there we go, there we go. Excellent, don't stop, come on. You got about 15 seconds left. Nice, it's gonna be a good day right here. It's Wednesday, middle of the week. We got some rain coming down right now, right outside the doors. Makes it pretty nice. Excellent. Come on, almost through this. Three seconds left. And good. Now hold the weight up, all right? This is going to be your rest. But next, we're going to be going into a fly, all right? A nice wide chest fly starting in three, two, one. Let's do this. Here we go. There we go, nice and wide with the weight. We did these last week, we'll probably do these next week, and we'll probably do these the week after. All right, it's a great exercise. Good, excellent, excellent, which is another reason if you're gonna start doing these uh, workouts with me, make sure that you got a set of dumbbells. That way you can get the work done, okay? It won't always be weighted exercises, but it's good to have them on hand just in case. There we go, come on, keep it up. So touch the weights together at the top. You can go nice and wide. Good. But I still keep a bend, a small bend in my elbow. There we go. I'm definitely not straight. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Keep it up. Come on. Get those reps in there. Speed it up a little bit. You're doing good. Here we go. You got this. Come on. Perfect. Do not stop. Five seconds left. We're going to be up to our feet next. And good, up to your feet. And the cool thing about this workout, if you want, you can go down through it like we're doing it, and then you can go backwards. So from the last exercise that we do, which will be a dumbbell squat, you can go back up through it a second time, all right? So we're gonna start now with an alternate bicep curl, starting in three, two, one. Here we go, so you're gonna curl it up, right back down. Up, right back down. Good, now, you notice I keep my palm it comes up towards my face just like that. Good, and I'm not swinging. I'm not even starting the next movement until one arm is completely done. So right arm fully stops, then the left arm goes, all right? Do not get into the habit of going so fast you're swinging, okay? Let's keep this up, here we go, come on. 30 seconds left. We are gonna pick the pace up, but only pick the pace up if your form is still looking really clean. There you go. That's it, come on. Almost through this, 20 seconds left. Keep on moving. Keep the alternate curls going. There we go, there we go, there we go. You got 10 seconds and counting. You're doing phenomenal on this one. Just don't stop. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Good, keep moving, I love it. Almost through this one, we got five more seconds. Five more seconds, keep those curls going. 
Come on, come on. Three more seconds. We're on bend time now. It's kind of like real seconds, but not quite. And relax on that. All right, next one's going to be a hammer curl. You got 10 seconds to shake it off. All right. All right. And grab your dumbbell. So a hammer curl, but an alternating hammer curl. So this one, dumbbell comes up, just like if you were hammering a nail into the ground. All right, and just alternate through on this one. Good. Now, remember, breathing. You want to breathe out while the weight's coming up. Breathe out while the weight's coming up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's it. Don't stop on this one. Keep working. Keep moving all the way through. Keep those alternates going. You're doing good. We're going to cruise through this one pretty quickly. There we go. There we go. That's it. You got it. Come on. Keep moving. So I got awesome feedback and suggestions yesterday from Brittany Susan. So Brittany, big shout out to you on here. Um, she asked specifically, hey, since we don't have a warm up or a cool down on the videos, just due to time, if I would make a separate five minute video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two five minute videos. I'm going to post them on my Facebook or on my YouTube, but not my Facebook. I'm going to post them on my YouTube. And then that way, if you want to add a warm up or a cool down in there, or you just want to have a good one to fall back on, okay, you'll be able to pull those up at any time and get those in your workout. And relax from the bicep. Hammer curl. All right. We're going to be taking it into shoulder presses next. So we're, for this one, we're going to bring the dumbbells up to your shoulder. Today, I want you to alternate. Okay, so we're gonna alternate one and the other. All right, are you ready? Let's do this, grab your weights. Okay, right here at the shoulder. So press it up and press it up. So if you're watching this as well and you got a suggestion or there's something you wanna recommend or you know, as far as workouts go, okay, hit me up, send me a private message or something like that. If it's doable, then I'll make it happen. If it's not doable, then it probably won't happen, but I will let you know that when you send me a message, all right? Love it. Excellent. Come on, keep pressing on this. And I also think on Sundays, I'm going to start doing a Sunday morning stretch session because I know everybody needs to stretch, but we don't all stretch, including myself when I'm in heavy race season, I do. But a lot of times I skip out on the stretching as well, except for maybe a two minute, you know, make myself not feel guilty type of stretch. But I think what we're going to start doing is like a 20 to 30 minute video. Sunday mornings, I love Sunday mornings. They're a great time just to relax and, you know, before church or after church. But I'll keep you posted on that, okay? Excellent. Let's keep moving on this one. We're almost there. Keep those alternates going. So bring them down. Don't let them rest on your shoulder. They can get close. Mine are pretty much touching, but they're not resting, okay? Keep going. That's it. You're almost there. Excellent. Five more seconds. Come on. Good, 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 good. And two more reps. Come on. Good. Relax. Perfect. All right. Shake it off a minute. Get some water if you need it. I am. Woo, I'm going to have to put those sunglasses back on. I can already see you uh, shining through the camera right now. I can see you through Facebook, through your TV, through your Facebook uh, camera on your phone. I can see you. All right. Woo. So now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do side laterals. This one, if you're using a heavy dumbbell, I recommend you find something lighter. You may not be able to do it, okay? So side lateral, we're going to start in three, two, one. Here we go. Bring it up, right back down. Now, I keep my feet close together. You can keep them at shoulder width, though, like this. It's your choice. I'm keeping them a little bit close together today. So bring it up. I try to go literally even with the top of my shoulders. I know some people, they'll go about the top of their ears, okay? It's kind of your choice on this. As long as you're bringing it up and you're not bouncing like that, okay? All right, just a nice shoulder raise. There we go. Get that side lateral. Let's tone them up. Tone them up, tone them up, tone them up. Good. Come on. Keep moving. We got this. It's going to be a good week. Good week. No matter where you're at, no matter where in the world you're watching this right now, it's going to be a phenomenal week. Keep them going. That's it. There we go. Come on. We got it. Side laterals all day long. We've got about 10 seconds left. Good, 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 good. 
And then we're going to use the same light weight that we have, and we're going to go straight into kickbacks. And we're going to do a minute on each arm, because we're crazy. We're freaking crazy. We're, we're getting some results. There's no going back now. We are getting some results. Perfect. All right. So now, for the tricep kickbacks, there we go. I'm weird with dumbbells. I got to feel a certain way. Okay, so with kickbacks, back flat, head up, okay? Bring that elbow up. Pretend there's a pin going through your elbow into your rib cage, so that way your arm does not drop. All right, kickbacks in three, two, here we go. Straight back, good. Now there's a few different variations of kickbacks that you can do. You can do straight kickbacks like I got. You can rotate your palm for you kick back like that. You do get quite a bit out of it, but I'm sticking to old school today, all right? Now, as long as you're keeping that elbow up, like I've got, you'll be fine. If you start to drop, you're not going to get anything out of this. So keep that elbow high. Good. Come on. You got it. I love it. Doing perfect on this. Doing perfect. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good. Keep moving. I'm proud of you for doing this. I'm proud of you. Our little small community, but I love it. There we go. Don't stop. Come on. Keep moving. Let's do 10 more seconds. Perfect. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Switch around. Other side. Straight into it. Here we go. That's it. That's it. That's it. Good. So let's keep it going. Same thing. Remember, your elbow is pinned in your rib cage. Arm doesn't drop. Literally, the movement is from your elbow down to your hand. That's what's moving. Kick it nice and back as far as you can. Good. Come on, we're going to be through this workout pretty quick. So let's make it happen. There we go. There we go. Come on, we're doing two exercises per muscle group here. Good. You got this. And so far, we've only been working for 11 minutes. That's nothing. Nothing at all. So come on, don't stop. Keep moving with me here. We've got about 20 minutes overall, which isn't too bad. Good, come on, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. You got 10 seconds left, 10 seconds. Come on, burn it out with me. That means get as many reps as you can, but still keep clean form. Come on, there we go, five seconds. Come on, a few more reps, and relax, good. All right, phenomenal work. So next one, we're gonna do a one-arm row, okay? Nope, I'm skipping an exercise. Standing tricep extension is next. So I'm gonna go back to my little bit heavier dumbbell. You're gonna go straight up overhead, okay? Now in three, two, one, go. So notice from the side, keeping my elbows in and pointed up. The dumbbell, I'm going down the center of my spine. So you can see, it goes down. Touches the center of my spine, right back up. Perfect. And that's it. Don't stop with it. Keeping those elbows up. If you start to bend and drop the elbows, what happens is your shoulders and your lat muscles will start to engage. Your delts, they'll start to engage. And you'll turn it into a press. So instead of working the wings, working your arms, working your triceps, You'll start to work the shoulders, okay? Let's keep moving. Got about 20 seconds. Good. Now, I know you're feeling it, because I am. Oh, Woo, they got tight. Come on. We're almost there, though. We can't stop early. Just got to keep working. Got to keep muscling through on this one. Three, two, one. Good. Perfect. All right, so now shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. That builds that lactic acid up in the back of those arms, but it's good for you. Okay, now we're gonna do a one-arm row, which is what I was trying to skip to a few seconds ago. So on this one, you can put your hand on your opposite leg if you want, just to stabilize, or even if you've got like a chair or something like this, you can put your knee in it, but either way, we're rowing right here. All right, let's do this. One minute. Now, yes, we are going to do one minute per arm, okay? So, everything you got that's working the back muscles, so drop that weight all the way down. Literally let it pull on the shoulder blade, and then row it back up. There we go. Row it all the way back up. Doing good with this. Doing good. We're almost there. I mean, we got back muscles, which we're working now. 
And then we got some legs. Really, that's about it. So hang in there with me. Come on. You can do this. I know you can. Good. And since this is also a pulling muscle, you will feel it with your bicep as well. So we'll still be toning those arms some more. Good. Keep moving. That's it. That's it. You're doing good. We got 10 seconds left on this arm right here. Then we're switching to the other side. Just keep it nice and stable. Good, you got it. And switch it around in three, two, one. Bring it up, right back down. Up, right back down. Good. That's it. Now this entire workout, this is one you can literally go to the gym and do and feel completely comfortable doing, okay? So if you wanna have a workout to write down in your workout journal or workout log and the next time you go to the gym, do these exercises, you won't look out of place. You'll feel completely comfortable and just do them as we're doing them on the video here. There you go. Or you can just keep rocking them out at home with me. I'll take that as well. Good, keep it up, come on. We got it, we got it, we got it, that's it. That's it. There we go, come on, do not stop. We got about 15 seconds left on that side. Oh yeah, I'm feeling in the shoulder blades. Squeeze them up, bring them all the way down. Squeeze them up, all the way down. Three seconds. Good. All right, that's it right there. So shake it off a minute. Now the next one we're going into is actually we're gonna do a two-handed bent over row. So for this one, I'm gonna start with light weight. I'm not sure the adjustment on it, but you're gonna roll both up at the same time and then down and then a reverse fly, okay? All right, so here we go. Back flat, head up, row it up, back down, nice and wide. Up, back down, nice and wide. Up, back down, nice and wide. There you go, that's it. Good, come on. We're gonna make this one happen today. We're gonna make it happen. Making it count towards something. There you go, towards your results. Good, 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 good. Keep moving. You got this. After this, we've only got two more exercises. So we've got to make it count. Don't waste it. Get those seconds in. Keep rowing. You will feel this one tomorrow, I promise you. Good. 20 seconds left. Almost through it. There we go. It's 10 seconds. Come on, you got this. Keep moving with me. Keep moving with me. Don't set the dumbbells down until I say. Almost there. Come on, you got it. And hold the dumbbells up. Hold them up, hold them up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Squeeze them together. I want them tight together. Tighter than that. Five seconds left. Tight. Four seconds left. Keep them there. Three, two, one. Good, relax. Shake that off. Okay, now make sure you got room. We're gonna be going into a lunge next. All right. Let's do this. I was actually talking about this yesterday. Reverse lunge, I feel you get a lot more out of a reverse lunge, at least I do personally. So we're gonna do reverse lunges on this. We're gonna do a minute on each leg, so we're just gonna alternate for two minutes straight. You can hold your dumbbells or not, your choice. I'm gonna start out body weight just because I don't want the dumbbells swinging and hitting this microphone because it's extremely sensitive apparently if you drop it and I don't want the audio cutting out like our last workout video. All right, lunges for two minutes in three, two, one. Here we go. All right, so alternate. Reach back with that foot as far as you can. Keep that front foot stabilized. There you go. Good. If you need to, balance against the wall or just don't go quite as low as I'm going in this. Okay? Keep stepping though. Doing good, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, I'm proud of you. There you go. And I appreciate every share, every like, every comment, good or bad. There you go. And I love the messages that a few of you have sent me. Just saying thank you, it really does mean a lot. There we go. Good, keep stepping back right now. You still wanna keep the weight on that front heel just like I'm doing. Here we go. Now, you may be getting wobbly. I am, but let's keep it up. Now, 
I want to step it up myself a little bit, so I'm going to try not to touch the mic, but I'm going to use weight for the last few minutes here. That way I really feel like I get something high out of it. There you go. Come on. We're almost through this. So now we're down to our final minute. It's been one minute, a little bit over, but not too much. So keep stepping. I'll tell you when you're done. Good. Two minutes all together alternating, but it's only one minute per leg, basically. So that way we're keeping it nice and even. Good, you got this. That's it, keep working with me here, keep working. Try not to stop. Good, 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 good. There we go, you got 15 seconds. 15 more seconds. Come on, that's it. Five, four, Three, two, get one more rep, and relax. All right, so last one, dumbbell squat. You can hold them in both hands, or you can hold them centered, or you can hold them up on your shoulder blades. I don't care how you hold them, okay? I'm gonna take one dumbbell, I'm gonna center it up, so again, I don't mess with the mic. In three, two, one, here we go. Good, that's it. All right, this is the last exercise. So keep the form good, keep the weight on your heels. That's it. Looking fantastic today. We're gonna make it count. Excellent, excellent. Hope you got the jams cranking at home. I don't play music in the background. So crank up your Spotify, your Pandora, whatever music app you're using, and let's rock it out. There we go. Doing perfect on this. Keep the squats going. They don't have to be super fast when you're using weight. When you're just using body weight, I prefer to go a little bit faster. But the heavier the weight that you're using, the slower you gotta go. Perfect. We got five seconds, four seconds, three, two, one, good. And set your dumbbells down, get some water, whatever you need. But I'll tell you, today, you are done, my friend. You made it through Wednesday's workout. We've got Friday's workout, and then we got Saturday's. And then we got some more special series coming up that I'll be announcing probably next week. I'm proud of you. I love you guys. Keep rocking it, all right?